Hey y'all, Sir Luhu here, and we are back again with Steins Gates. So, last episode, we started kind of circling the drain for Ogryn as he began to repeat the same two days over and over again. Just kind of trying to have the perfect friend days for life kind of thing, you know. Just go out, enjoy their day, go eat at a nice restaurant, cycle around. Be just normal, happy people, free from worries absurd, and all of that horrible that he knows is coming in those two days. Um, unfortunately, as he wound up on his tent cycle, some dark thoughts started kind of creeping in, like, what if I just let a truck kind of, you know, maybe hit Daru? Let's see what happens there. Is anybody going to, you know, scream, watch blood shoot all over the place, kind of thing? Let's just see. I want to see how this happens. I'm going to let this play out. And all that. And he did. And it didn't happen that way. But, I mean, it was still pretty, like, fucked up. Like, what the hell, man? <laughs> kind of moment. And so, he's getting this weird-ass god complex and viewing them as his playthings. And it's just, it ain't going to fly. So, we need to see what's going to break him out of that. Anywho, we are at this, the convention space for what's going to be Komima now, right? So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Anyway, Holy Land, I have returned. Daru, his vigor restored, greets Big Sight with his arms spread wide. Wow, I've never seen it this empty. Look at all that space. It's hard to believe they filled this whole area during Komima. In the emptiness, it is easy to see how truly majestic Big Sight is. At Komima, when you are wading through a sea of people, it's just in our big building. Hey, my Yushi's hungry. Isn't there a restaurant nearby? Let's take a break. I can't believe we have to bike all the way back. What a nightmare. The three of them go searching for the family restaurant. Susuha is still gazing at Big Sight. My eyes roam her body. No the fucking no! Okarin, I will murder your ass even if it's fictional. Fuck off with this bullshit. Give me one quick second because I have a call coming in, but fuck that. Alright, we're back. But yeah, let's see this fucking dumbass little twiggy boy try some shit. Watch Suzuha kick his fucking ass. Ehu. That is tight legs, because I have to read this shit. That slender body. Her clothes accentuate all her fine curves. Her breasts are surprisingly large. Something stirs in my heart. Hot and heavy, like thick lava. It whispers to me words like poison. What if... What if I lure her into a dark corner and have my way with her? What then? Then you fucking die and deserve your death, you dumb son of a bitch! <laughs> what the shit is this? Getting her alone would be simple enough. All I'd have to do is offer information on her father and she'll follow me anywhere. To make matters easier, no Mani Suzuha exists in present day Japan. No documents proving Japanese citizenship, not even birth certificate. It's only natural, she won't, when it, she won't be born for another seven years. <laughs> this son of a bitch. So even if she runs to the police, nobody will believe a word she says. I imagine she'll put up a fight. She was a member of the resistance in her time, and I know she's stronger than she looks. But she's still just a girl. It may take some doing, but I'll have my way with her in the end. Ogarin, what the absolute fuck? If this continues, I'm done with this son of a bitch. I do not like this. This isn't just time leap shit, this is just, like, intrusive thought bullshit, but I don't fucking care, this is- You better beat that shit back down, you dumbass. <laughs> Another me, Huon Kiyoma, perhaps, is whispering inside my head. You want a woman, don't you, it says? Of course you do, it's instinct. So what if she's Daru's daughter? So what if she's on a mission to save the future? Forget about that. She's a fine woman, that's all. And I'm the sleaze that lives in your soul. You're not saying Okabe Rintaru. What was it you called yourself again? That's right, an insane mad scientist. If you're really insane, though, let's see you snap. Remember, you have the power of a god.
This is fucking... This is all kinds of hell now. He needs his ass beat right now. I'm not... Mm. You can rape her and then undo it with the time late machine. And hey, while you're at it, why not taste the same... What the fuck? Why not taste the same girl's virginity over and over again? Wouldn't that be something all those virgins only freaks would kill to be you? Hell, why stop at rape? Think of what else you can do with the time leap machine. Murder, steal, kidnap, destroy. Is that the best you can do, Okabe Rintaru? Is that really all the evil in your heart? Well, I guess we're only human after all. Think about it, Okabe Rintaru. Sure, you want this loop, but repeat the same two days forever. Sounds like torture to me. Aren't you tired of it already? These two days should be your paradise. Forget about petty laws and morals. You're a hunter. Taboos mean nothing to you. Hunt your prey and eat your fill. The voice is right. I am the observer. I am God. Ogarin, you son of a bitch! I can do anything. Suzuha, kick his ass. Do her. Kill her. Rape her. No one can judge me in this closed loop of time. Forget your morals. Trust your primal urges. Follow your instincts. Gah. I cover my ears and avert my eyes from Suzuha. My ears are ringing. Someone is trying to crush my soul, projecting thoughts not my own onto the screen of my heart. What? Could it be actual manipulation? It better fucking be. Cause I ain't cool with this, Oki. We ain't fucking rolling with this crowd if you're going to keep this shit up. Okabe okay, Rotaru? Suddenly Suzuha grabs at me by the shoulder and peers into my face. The warmth from her hands makes the buzzing grow louder. You really are sick, aren't you? Wanna sit down? Maybe it's psychosis from the time travel, because Carisu did say that, you know, repeating the loops over and over again would be a problem and we'd lose ourselves, right? I'm afraid to look at Suzuha with these dark feelings clogging my mind. I shake her off and flee towards Big Sight. Kabir Wintaru, where are you going? I need to go away from Suzuha. If I don't, I might give in to the urge. I stare at my hands. Clench open, clench open. Repeat, repeat. My hands still move. Just as I expect them to. Just as I order them to. But those dark impulses. The devil's whispers. How can I explain those? The hell was that? What's happening to me? I start to tremble. My teeth chatter. Sun's hot enough to burn my skin, but I feel cold. I'm afraid of myself. I'm still okay, right? I'm Huan Kyoma, Okabe Rintaru. The insane mad scientist with a fetish for science and chaos. See? I still know who I am. Still? What's that supposed to mean? Will I eventually lose control of myself? Am I going to break? Like a Mobius strip, the same two days go round and round and round and round and round and round and round. But today, I failed to keep them the same. My feelings became twisted. Today on Harumi Bridge, I didn't ha just hesitate to save Daru. I nearly yielded to my dark emotions. Dark emotions. Dark impulses? Emotions seeping with venom. I listened to their poisonous, disgusting whispers. I was almost drawn in. There's no denying it. Worse, that was but a taste of what might lurk inside my heart. If those emotions attack me again, this time crashing over me like a tsunami, will I be able to control myself? Mayuri. 
Parisu, Daru, Suzuha. Why I be able to keep myself from hurting them no matter what? Will I be able to keep everyone safe in this loop I made for my Yuri and Suzuha's sake? Do I really have such strength? I don't know. That answer is hardly reassuring. But for now, it's the only answer I've got. This endless loop is the world I wish for. I can only protect this world. Only I can protect this world. I pray that those impulses were just the fluke, that they'll never resurface again. You dumb son of a bitch. I ask only that tomorrow be peaceful. Ugh, <sighs> oh, you dumb bastard. He always has to just kind of double down into his mistakes, doesn't he? Anywho, the wind caresses my cheek. I push down on the pedals and begin to the ascend up Harumi Bridge. The spokes revolve rhythm eh, rhythmically, reflecting the sunlight. Sweat oozes out of every pore, but it's not unpleasant. Feels good, healthy, like running around the school field as a child. The weather's so nice. Ugh. <sighs> Ugh. Why do I have to come along? Same here. Oh, the wind's too strong. You're a little chubby, Darakun. I think you need to exercise more. Fat, neckbeard, master race. Leaning the way at a terrific pace is Suzuha on her trusty mountain bike. What a view. From here you can see across Tokyo Bay all the way to Rainbow Bridge in the distance. Except for Suzuha, we're all using Renacycles. I want a change of pace from the search for the unfindable pin, so I propose a cycling expedition. I thought this trip would be a waste of time at first, but I guess people need to take a break once in a while, huh? I'd rather be working on the time leap machine. This just proves that I belong indoors. You two are all right now, he? <laughs> Come on, guys. Stamina is the key to survival. Kurisu and Daru are exhausted, while Suzuha and Mayuri are still going strong. I already know the distance between Akiba and Ariaki, so I'm able to pace myself in order to conserve energy. Whoa, water! Where's the vending machine? I could kill for a glass of water. Then do it. Huh? Everyone turns to look at me. Do it. Kill someone. Well. <laughs> Why so serious, man? Come on, what are you waiting for? If you want to do it, then do it! Hey, Okabe, what's gotten into ya? Oh, Grin, you shouldn't say things like that. <coughs> Suzuha, please realize something's off. What's up with you, man? Nothing. There's a convenience store once we pass two bridges. Tough it out. Ugh. Really? Well, that's farther than I thought. Hundreds of days have passed since this began. Maybe thousands. How many cycles has it been? I've repeated this loop so many times that I've grown tired of keeping track. I can barely remember the reason I started. The days go by like tearing pages from a calendar. Everyone says the same things. Everyone responds in the same way. I've noticed that my biorhythms seem a bit off. But, aside from that, every day is the same. Same, 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 same. Yes, subtle deviations occur. But, it's all within acceptable limits. In the end, the result is always the same. Everything that happens is eh, insignificant. Meaningless, pointless. I'm the only one still living in this loop. Everyone else is just being kept alive. By me. We're just spinning our wheels in a dead world. My soul died some cycles back, I don't remember. This isn't a life. Mary's death. Moika's raid. Suha's, is it. Suzuha's time travel. I may have cared about those things once. Not anymore. When did I stop caring? When did I become a machine? Looping and looping for all eternity. Nothing matters. When these two days are over, they will start again. Everything will be reset, and I will reset it myself. Well, better a machine than the alternative. 
Then I guess it's pointless to worry. Ridiculous. How many times have I repeated this loop? My senses have, eh. My senses have gone dull. It's getting harder to respond to things I see and hear. I feel detached, like I'm isolated inside a thin mem eh, membrane. And I've already gotten used to it. I don't find it inconvenient anymore. I simply adapted. I simply optimized. To this far too narrow world. To this far too gentle world. Why shouldn't I adapt? This is my world. Ugh, I quit cycling. Dara has used up the last of his strength. While still on his bike, he rests his body against the guardrail, separating us from the road. I stop my bicycle and watch impassively. Whoa! The horn blares. Dara jerks away from the rail. A split second later, the truck howls past. Dara loses his balance and falls on his butt. Ugh, th that was close. Hey! Are, no, hey, are you okay? Are you hurt? Grayson and Suzuha get off their bicycles and help Daru up. That truck was mean. The truck has already crossed the intersection after the bridge. We watch it drive. We watch it drive away. Oh man, what a shock! What is with that guy? Crazy drivers. I should have checked that number. Then I could be like reported. So report him. The truck's m number smoothly rolls off my tongue. I've seen it so many times, it's like a brand on my brain. There, now you know. Report him. I hold my phone out. Did I do something, Okarin? You said you wanted to report him, so I'm giving you the opportunity. My tone is flat. I'm just saying whatever comes to mind. Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. I agree that Hashida could be a little less lazy, but you're going way too far, Okabe. Uh, shut up, class rep wannabe. Wh what? No fighting, guys. Daru-kun's okay, so let's be happy, okay? I ignore my Yuri and shove my phone at Daru. You're not going to report him? W well, I guess I'll let him off the hook this time. I sigh and put away my phone. Suzuha is staring at me again. She looks like she wants to say something. But who cares what she thinks? I feel nothing. The tired Kurisu and re-energized Daru and the ever-energetic Mayuri repeat the same conversation that I've seen hundreds of times. Then they go search for the restaurant. I turn my back to them and walk towards the ocean. But Susuha stands in front of me, blocking my way. Her eyes born to mine. I try to pass without saying anything, but she cuts me off. I see the sincere concern in her eyes, but it can no longer sway my heart, not even a little. Hey, wasn't there a movie about a guy who gets trapped in some kind of time loop? What? The hell is she talking about? Groundhog Day, right? It was like a hundred years old when I saw it. The movies in my time are all boring, certain propaganda, you know? So we watch old movies instead. Like Groundhog Day. Never heard of it. It was pretty unsatisfying. I was trying to brush her off, but Suzuha keeps talking. I mean, the loop ends without the hero really doing anything. Like, he becomes a good person and suddenly happy ending. Kinda dumb. You're trapped in a loop too, aren't you? All of us are. Say something, Okabe Rintaru. You've been here before, haven't you? Her gaze seems to pierce through everything. I find myself blinking involuntarily. My eyes drop to my feet. What? What are you talking about? A hoarse voice leaks from the back of my throat. It doesn't sound like my own. I saw a big sight for the first time today, but this isn't the first time I've seen it. I feel my heart skip a beat. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Word games? We've come here before, haven't we? Y you've experienced the day multiple times, haven't you? How many times? Answer me! Suddenly, Suzuha seizes my arm. 
You have the eyes of a dead man. <clears throat> I know those eyes. They're everywhere you look in my time. Look at me, Okabe Rintaru. Don't kill your soul. Slowly, feelings rise. From the depths of my heart. Like an oiled machine grinding back to life. My Kisei Karisu is going to be... Uh, Sorry. <laughs> Makise Karisu's soon-to-be-completed time leap machine. You've been using it to repeat the past, haven't you? What if I have? Why are you doing this? Who knows? The reason no longer matters. What are you running from? Running? Yeah, I'm running. Running from my Yuri's death. That's why I'm going to 1975. I'll bring you the IBN 5100 and then you can... No, you fail. What? And then after 25 lonely, meaningless years, you hang yourself. Wh what But... That's why I'm hiding in this loop, so that neither you nor Mayuri die. That's it. That was the reason. I entered the loop, resolved to save them. But my resolve has long since turned to dust. As long as I repeat these two days, nothing changes. Nobody dies. I've accepted that duty to keep everyone alive. That's only from your perspective. The world continues into the future independent of you. No matter how many thousands of loops you make, Shana Mayuri will still die. It's not a solution. Yeah. My lips twist into a self-deriding smile. But I'm not looking for a solution. Do you intend to keep looping forever? Yes, I've accepted that duty. You haven't accepted anything! Can't you see how it's twisted you? No matter how many times it happens to me, this world will continue. The loop will continue. No matter what happens, the loop will not end. How long can you endure living in Frozen in time? You can't keep this up forever, you know. Your body may never die, but look at yourself, Okabe Rintaru. Your soul is already hanging by a thread. But... What else can I do? I don't have it in me to sacrifice anyone. You, Mayuri, you're my friends. I can't lose either of you. Suzuha hangs her head with a sorrowful expression. Is this interrogation over? I try to end the conversation by walking towards the sea again, but she grabs my hand to stop me. You have more to say? Do I really hang myself? Yeah. Do I really fail my mission? Yeah. Susuha bites her lip and hangs her head. Maybe I shouldn't have told her the truth, but it doesn't really matter. If I timely begin, the conversation will have never happened. In that case, will you come with me, Okabe Rintaru? What? Will you come with me to 1975? That's the last thing I expected to hear. Go with her to 1975? What will happen if I go? Susuha grasped my hand tightly. You could help me so that I don't fail. And maybe we can find another way to change the future. Is that possible? My heart beats. My eyes open. Color returns to the world. The world line might shift in a completely unanticipated direction. What you know as the present may change dramatically. The future gadget lab might not even exist in the future we make. Shina Mayuri, Hashida Ataru, and Makise Karisu might not even be born. And even if they are born, they might be different people with different names. But if we go to 1975, then we'll have 35 years before we reach the 2010 Divergence. I don't know how we'll change the world line, but we'll have plenty of time to prepare. If you're okay with all that, then why not come with me? To tell the truth, I want someone to come with me. Someone. In other words, it doesn't have to be me. I hey, don't want to go knowing I'll fail. I don't want my death to be meaningless. So come with me. Save me. I want to save you too. I can't bear to see you like this. 
Will you continue this loop until your soul is ground to nothing? Once that happens, time will start moving again, and the ending you've been postponing will occur. When your soul finally dies, Sheena Mayuri will die too. I will fail and hang myself, all according to schedule. What you're doing is nothing but slow suicide. If you're willing to go that far, then come with me instead. Save me. I... My hands of my clock stopped ticking long ago. I... Now slowly, they begin to move forward. I'll go. I'll go with you. Please, take me with you. Thank you. I'm sorry, I should have noticed sooner. Suzuha gently embraces me, as if to warm my frozen heart. Oh my goodness, this was so much sweeter than I was expecting. So I guess we'll get more into their thoughts and opinions later, because we're so close to the end now, but oh my goodness. <laughs> the wind blows, the clouds flow and change shape. Sunset. The sky is so terribly orange. The color of dawn. The color of dusk. The color of the world's end. The color of the world's beginning. While Daru was repairing the time machine, I let my mind rest. I avoided all contact, slept like a log, and tried to piece my soul back together. On the afternoon of the 13th, I received word that the repairs are complete. I sent an email calling all members to a meeting. Then, as everyone else gathers at the lab, I head to Raikon alone. Suzuha is waiting there, standing before the time machine with glistening eyes. She gives me one last warning. Remember, this time machine only goes one way. Once we leave, there's no coming back. Even so, will you still come with me? I slowly nod. And you? Are you sure about this? There's a good chance we'll both lose our memories during the leap. You said it took me 24 years to remember. But this time, I have you. Something might change. Wishful thinking. Does that mean you're backing out? I'm going, I'm going no matter what. No, I've made up my mind. I don't know how it will turn out. We're certainly at a disadvantage. <laughs> but still... I never thought I'd be so thankful to not know what's coming next. It's so stimulating, it sends shivers down my spine. I feel like I'm actually here. Did you tell everyone? I bid them farewell. Mayuri, Daru, Kurisu. I left them each a handwritten letter. The lab is probably in chaos by now. I also mailed letters to my parents and my friends at school, telling them not to look for me. My parents will probably be sad, but this time, I'm not running away. I want to believe I'm not running away. You know... Suzuha stands next to me, looking at the time machine. She finally smiles, though her eyes still shine with unshed tears. It's kinda like we're eloping. <laughs> There's nothing to feel guilty about. In fact, I want to thank you, Suzuha. If you hadn't invited me, I'd still be in the loop, living like a corpse. So, thank you, Suzuha. Let's change- let's fight to change the future together. Yeah. We clasp our hands. Suzuha's grip is so strong it kinda hurts. <laughs> but the pain tells me I'm alive. Nobody sends us off. Nobody could. This is a one-way trip through time. Once we go, there's no coming back. 1975. That's before I was even born. We're headed to the past. No. For a future that has yet to be written. Not the world line Suzuha left. Nor the world line she desired. We are reaching for an entirely new future. Our eyes meet. Our hands clasped tightly. Let's go. Yeah. The time has come for us to depart. Our mission to change 35 years of history. We boldly lift our heads, ready to challenge fate. Together. What the fuck? That's it? 
Bullshit! Ah, oh, great. Now I have to go and get the freaking other, <laughs> other ones. No fucking way. That can't be it. That can't be it. I have to get all the fucking DLC shit now, don't I? <laughs> Or is it DLC or is it sequels? How does this work? Uh... Give me- give me one second. <laughs> I'll just let the credits play, but I'm I'm gonna go silent on my end. Okay, hold up, what's this? Irreversible reboot completed? Okay, from what I'm seeing on my end... It looks like I somehow got an alternative ending? Even though, to my knowledge, I haven't freaking even... <laughs> Been making choices? Like, what the shit? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so apparently it does play like an actual regular old visual novel, and I have been making choice. The phone! The text message is I must have done really well with Suzuha and the text messages <laughs> or something. That's like the only thing I've had control over to make choices with. Cause it says here for alternate ending, Suzuha Mane ending. Okabe decides not to send the email that would prevent him from pursuing Suzuha and prevent Mary's death. And they've had to stop. So I somehow ended up shipping him with Suzuha without even trying. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, this is insanity! Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my goddamn mind. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. So we have. I'm gonna have to replay fucking everything now, aren't I? Because there's an ending for everybody. So I naturally just got... Suzuha's ending. I think I can do Ferris, Luka, Mayuri, and Karisu. Well, I kind of want to... Like, I want to do Mayuri and Karisu stuff because I feel like they're the ones more ingrained with our main plot line anything but that kind of makes me want to get Ferris and Luke out of the way first too I think I'm going to get a guide <laughs> not get a guide but look up a guide let's see what choices I have to make and I don't know 
I guess we'll try for maybe Luca next. And... Because I find... Again, I've said this before. I found, like, Luca to be the least interesting. So I think we'll go least interesting to most interesting. So I'm thinking Luca, then Ferris, then either Miyuri or Karisu. Not sure yet, but what the hell, game? Can't just drop this crap on me. <laughs> what on earth? I'm sorry. It's just, like... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've been complaining about this since day one, and it's like, I don't feel like I'm making any choices, but apparently I was making choices all along. This is absolutely insane. Um, <laughs> But hey, one ending out of the way, we ran away with Daru's daughter to live a past together and hopefully change the future. Um, I guess it was sweeter than I was expecting, because I was expecting her to, like, you know, I was expecting her to confront him about it, but I thought it would be more of like a, you know, how dare you just try to manipulate my fate thing, and instead she was much more, like, accepting and forgiving of everything, and it was just really, really pleasant, but what on earth? <laughs> oh, this, it's one way to freaking hook me. <laughs> I was not expecting it to end like that, because, I mean, the game's- I mean, I've been stretching it over years and stuff, but that's just because I felt like the game was dragging for so long, and then we're here at finally a freaking ending, and it's just like, what? What just happened? <laughs> Alright, but that is it for this episode, because my dogs are crying in the background, and I'm confused, and I need to look up stuff for how to get Luca's ending next time. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go after Luca and seduce him, her, I mean her. We're going to seduce her. Sorry, Luca didn't mean that. He started off as a him, so. In one world line. We're in a different world line now, so Luca is a her. Right? Identifies as a her. It's a her. He's a her. She no, she's a her. God damn it! I'm sorry, I didn't mean for that. I was just, it was, it's different world lines. Luca in the original world line referred to himself as a he. He identified as like boy and all that. And stuff and in this new world line, it, she's a she. And so she identifies as a she. And so please do not misconstrue any of that. It's nothing like me saying, uh, it's just, it's complicated. God is a complicated, forgive me. All right, uh, God, this is a world worst way to end shit on but this for it <laughs> next time we're going to romance luca regardless of gender all right that's what we're doing we will love her him whoever whoever it ends up being all right whichever world i end up being on hi hole this is me okay i'm just gonna go bury myself <laughs> thank you for watching